Hello Fanatics, Crazy Russian Dead here, I want to talk about Oscars. Did you watch the show? In terms of the grade, I would give it a C. I'll start with the positive. Having hosts was good and the three ladies were okay. But it's kind of crazy when Amy Schumer is the classier one. First about the humor. The humor in general was so dumb, so gross. Am I using the term right? My children say it all the time. Oh, it's so gross, dad. It is so low consciousness. It is for lower chakras, holding 13 and a half inches of Mexican in your hand. Who the hell says that? Was that the best you could come up with? Children are watching, for God's sakes. And in general, the humor was just unkind, and there is no need for it. I think the Academy or Hollywood, whoever organizes this show, should invite people who can make others laugh without offending people, who can tell tasteful jokes and not discuss ones. And next, uh, about the clothes. Um, there is not enough of it. Too much skin is showing and it's a family show. I think they need to make sure that people wear more clothes. They can do it one of two ways. One is they could institute a dress code, a mandate of sorts, or they could just turn down the temperature by about 10-20 uh, degrees and that way everybody will bundle up. Uh, this one has an added benefit of uh, saving money on the utility bill. Next, we must talk about the acceptance speeches and those, especially by the actors, were weak. With few notable and beautiful exceptions, the winners mainly talked about themselves, their sexuality, their gender, their politics. Okay, but what about your love of the craft? Where is the homage to those who came before you? The appreciation of great ones from the past that you admire? Directors who made it possible? Mentors you had along the way? Alas, there was very little of that. Mainly I heard about winning it and making it. I think you can get a good measure of a person by how they handle their victory speech. I'll give you an example from sports. Of all the sports, I only watch tennis. And there are a few megastars in tennis like Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. And you can just tell, whenever they give an interview, they know and love the history of the game. They know, appreciate, admire, and mention those players who came before them. They understand that the game has been around for a long time and will be here long after they hang their tennis rackets in retirement. Another great example is Isaac Newton, who is probably one of the greatest scientists who's ever lived. What did he say? If I have seen further, it is because I stood on the shoulders of giants. You and I know that this guy was no slug in science, but he had enough humility, he understood that he was not the center of the universe. It was about the science, not about himself. And I think many actors today can take a page out of Isaac Newton's book. To me, the real highlight of the show was when Coda won. It was so heartfelt, so true, so joyful, a real moment of inclusion. Also, Kevin Costner gave a good speech, smart, sincere, and classy. So, dear Academy, as I said, all in all, I give it a C. There is room for improvement. Please make humor more kind and less dumb, add some class, and add some clothes. Thank you. Good night.